the stories brim with contradictions of a kind suggesting repeated editing and ev evidence tampering, changing the story, which and how many women visited the tomb and what hour? Was it Mary Magdalene alone or was she with others? Did she or they see the man or angels or men or angels before or after she or they had called on Peter and the others? Did the woman or women see Jesus at the tomb or not? Did the risen Jesus tell his disciples to go to Galilee or to stay in Jerusalem? And how on earth did the other gospel writers neglect to report what Matthew tells of a shining angel swooping from the skies to roll the stone away, causing an earthquake and making posted guards faint dead away? And if per 1 Corinthians 15, 500 saw him at once, why does not one gospel say so? Well, the uh, gospel accounts contradict an earlier conception of Jesus' resurrection found in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, which uh, describes the resurrection body of believers and by implication that of Christ, since we're to uh, um, share in his. It says that uh, in verse 44 that uh, the resurrection body is not of flesh and blood, since such materials could never inherit the kingdom of God, verse 50. Thus the resurrected Jesus had no flesh and blood, but instead in verse 45 had become a life-giving spirit. Um, this is just the opposite of Luke 24, 39, where Jesus extends his hands and says, Behold and see that no spirit has flesh as you see I have. So, you know, you've got an earlier source where Jesus was raised as a spirit. You've got later ones where it's a physical body. I would suggest no one would ever have created the spiritual body business if you had solid fleshly accounts at first, whereas the other ones are probably later embellishments since uh, people felt a little uh, uneasy with Gnostic subjectivity, with a spirit resurrection that could be easily dismissed as a hallucination. Uh, if the Gospels, Easter stories, are not memory reports and nothing uh, other than sheer assertion of apologists would say that, it, that they are, what are they? Are they lies and hoaxes? Well, apologists scoff at the very idea of a world religion with high ideals like Christianity beginning with a hoax, but of course this is exactly what they think happened in the case of Mormonism. So it's not impossible, but I wouldn't charge it in this case. It seems to me there's a third option. The gospel Easter stories are legendary in character, and they're of a commonly known kind of legend. Philosophers, kings, other benefactors were often glorified by legends in which they're taken up to heaven, sometimes in the supposed uh, sight of eyewitnesses and seated among the gods. This is verified according to the stories when their, their followers search for some piece of the body or clothing and can find nothing. Uh, I, I have these and there's no time to, to read them, but if anybody wants to hear them afterward, I got all the texts from Empedocles, Apollonius of Tyana, Augustus Caesar, Peregrinus, etc., etc., etc.